How's it going everyone? The Trout91 here with 10 tips to succeed in the Halo 2 Anniversary multiplayer. This will also transfer over to the other versions of Halo that are in the game. The first tip is to learn the kill combos. On the screen I'll put a graphic of how to kill someone with a certain weapon and how many shots it does take. But it's very important to learn how many shots you need to put into someone before you can actually take the kill. Obviously each player has a shield and their original health. So for example the most obvious one is the battle rifle. The battle rifle will take three shots to the chest and one final shot to the head for a minimum to get the kill. Tip number two, learn to strafe when you're in a gunfight. Jumping can be very effective, but however, you are stranded in the air and you're always going in a predictable motion, which means people can catch you out. However, if you strafe, you can easily outduke the opponent and probably avoid one shot and be able to get the kill on your opponent. Tip number three, use your grenades to help you win fights. They're very important and you can carry up to eight at a time in the multiplayer. So make sure you use them to open and close fights. If you can get a nice grenade off, you can usually save yourself the aim and the hassle of getting the kill. It's also good for securing kills at a distance where people might be behind cover. If you can chuck one on either sides of the cover, you can usually guarantee yourself a kill or at least flush them out of the cover. Tip number four, crouch or stand still to stay off the radar. When you're moving, you actually appear as a red dot on the little radar in the bottom left-hand corner. You can usually sneak up on someone if you're standing still or crouching around the map and get a surprise kill. Tip number five, learn the power weapon spawn locations and the timers. It's very important to get your power weapons on the map if you're given one and try to control the enemy ones. Because unlike other games where you can camp, this is one game where you're not able to do that because power weapons can easily flush you out and take you out before you've even realised what has happened. Tip number six, don't go lone wolf. Stick with your team. It's very important to stick with your teammates because they will help you secure kills and help you out of tight jams. Also, if you do go down there, usually they're to help you clean up kills because unlike other FPS titles, in Halo it's very difficult to take out multiple people at one time. Number seven, don't challenge an enemy you can't see or shoot properly. It's not going to end well. You're usually going to die. Just get yourself out of there and get to a better position or into some cover. Speaking of cover, number eight is when you're weak, get to cover. There's no point dying. You're going to anger your teammates and you're going to lose the game if you're giving away sloppy kills just because you felt like challenging it and you thought you could win the fight. If you're not sure and you're not capable, get out of there, get to cover, regen your health and get back in the fight. Number nine is if all else fails... You know you're going to die, put as much damage down as you possibly can with shots, grenades, whatever you can muster up because your teammates are likely to clean up the kills for you or at least put that other player out of the action for a temporary amount of time so you can help get control of the map and the power weapons. It might seem like something that's not going to benefit you but in the long run it will benefit your teams and ultimately yourself. Tip number 10 is find the control setup that is most comfortable for you. This can change between Halo to Halo, but on the Anniversary Edition, I recommend this one that is on the screen for you. It's the most one that is like a FPS title like Call of Duty or anything general like that, where X is reload, Y is switch, etc, etc. If you enjoyed the video, do drop a like rating and subscribe to the channel for more tip tutorial videos on games in the future. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Facebook to stay updated with what I'm doing and when new videos are going out. And I'll see you later. Peace out.